Hello and welcome back to the I Heat You channel. Today we're talking about Worcester error codes and the most common error codes we get requested on customer service through the blog on the website. If your error code isn't mentioned in this video, go to the blog in the description. We have all the error codes that we get for Worcester boilers, all in a nice blog for you right on there. Uh, before we start, I need to show you how to actually find your error codes on the boiler themselves. So I'm here with the Worcester 4000. Any thoughts on these boiler error codes? Didn't think so. Right, so here with the Worcester 4000 and the 8000 Life, we've also got the Green Star RI over here. I'm gonna demonstrate how to find the boiler error codes. With the RI, you've got this flashing light which actually displays the error code in a certain sequence of flash, flash, no flash, bit more flash, 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 flash. There's quite a few combinations, but if you go into the manual that we give you at the end of an install, you'll be able to find out what each one means. This is quite a compact boiler, which is why it doesn't have a digital display like the 2000, the 4000, and the 8000. With the Worcester 4000, you actually get a digital display, which is this black circle here, which displays all the error codes on the display. Whilst we're here, if you hold down the up and down buttons on the screen, it will reset the boiler. This, this isn't a boiler, this is actually a toy, but it wants you to like the video. So do it. Do it now. Now that we've established where the error codes are on the boiler, it is time to talk about your warranty. Are you still covered? So with companies like Worcester, you get quite a long warranty. Uh, if you buy through iHeat, you also get about 10 years with a Worcester boiler. This means that when an issue does occur with your boiler, the engineer call out can be a lot less, if not covered by your warranty. The final step before we actually translate these error codes into common English that we'll understand uh, is to actually reset your boiler. So with the Worcester 2000, 4000, 8000, you just hold the up and down button for long enough until it resets. With other boilers, there's a lot more different combinations, but you can just turn them off at the plug and turn it back on again. It'll boot up and hopefully a lot of these issues will be fixed. If the error code still proceeds to show up on your boiler, it is time to convert it into English. So, what is the first error code? Number one is the C6215, which is a fan speed error. This means that the fan inside your boiler, its speed is too high. Once you reset your boiler, this could actually turn back to normal speed, so hopefully that fixes it for you, but if not, you will have to get an engineer out to fix the issue. Number two. Number two is the 9A362 HCM, or heat control module. This means that the heat control module inside your boiler has broken or it's preventing it from working. This could actually be that the boiler's got the wrong HCM inside the boiler, and this needs replacing straight away. If you go through our heat though, we check all our installs thoroughly and are actually trained by Worcester to install these boilers so we know if this is the wrong HCM before we even put it in. This is another reason why you should go for our heat. In fact, whilst you're here, if your boiler is coming up with a lot of error codes quite often, it is time to upgrade. Head to iheat.co.uk to get an instant quote for a next day boiler. It's a stress-free experience, take a few photos and we'll be there next day to install your new boiler. Unfortunately, when you do see error codes stating the HCM is defective, an engineer will need to be called out to fix the issue. Number three is the EA227 no flame signal or flame failure error code. We've done a video about this before. It's to do with a blocked or frozen condensate pipe. However, the error code could actually have quite a few meanings. To fix a frozen condensate pipe, check out our video up here. We basically just boil the kettle, wait a few minutes for it to cool down, and then pour it over the pipe until the ice is melted. Number four. Number four is the A1281 blocked pump boiler error code. This means that the pump inside your boiler has stuck or it is running with air in the system and this means it won't work. Turning the box or heat control reset button on and off can actually fix this issue in your combi boiler. If this does not work, an engineer, yet again, will need to be called out. Mambo number five. Finally, we have got the last boiler error code of this entire video. Leave a like if you have found this useful or enjoyable so far. This is the A21 RF signal loss. This means that the radio frequency between your boiler and its wireless thermostat has disconnected. Straight off the bat, this can mean that the batteries inside your thermostat have died, which is why it can't connect. Simply replace the batteries and hopefully your thermostat hasn't been dead for too long, your programs will still be there. If not, you will have to reprogram these in. However, if that doesn't seem to fix the issue, there could be other RF signals inside your home, which is interrupting the connectivity. Simply remove any of the devices inside your house that you've since put in, since the insulation, that actually includes RF signals, this will stop the frequency from being interrupted and hopefully get you back online. If not, it could just be a distance thing. Maybe the thermostat is too far away from your boiler. Let's say it's upstairs in the bedroom, but your boiler is inside the kitchen. Just bring the thermostat from upstairs 
downstairs and hopefully you'll be able to reach. Annoyingly though, if your thermostat is wall mounted, it will require a bit of DIY to get it off the wall and then moved into the other room. If the issue proceeds, it could actually be a component error, which means it will need to be fixed by an engineer. So that has been five of the most common boiler error codes we get with Worcester boilers. If you found it useful, please leave a like and share to anyone who may have a Worcester boiler who gets the same sort of issues. Like I said at the start, if you are getting a lot of error codes, it is time to upgrade. So head to iheat.co.uk forward slash quote to get a next day boiler installed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. This has been iHeat.